was Elvis Presley a Melungeon. There is there is a couple things about his looks that you probably don't know, and they kind of surprised me. Hi, I'm Danielle Romero. Thank you so much for being with me here on my channel, where we've been talking about family history and American identity. I live in Nashville, Tennessee right now. I'm originally from New York. I've been in the South for 14 years now. I still don't totally fit in. Uh, I talk about half as fast as I used to though, so we're making progress. But I've never been to Graceland. And if you don't know what Graceland is, that's Elvis Presley's house in Memphis. And I've definitely driven through Memphis a lot, but it's always been on my way to see family in Louisiana. Uh, somebody had mentioned to me in a comment that, that he was a Melungeon. And that totally piqued my interest because, I, I mean, I don't know a lot about Elvis, but in my mind, he was, I knew he was from the South. And I thought he was had Native American ancestry. Like that's all I knew. But when I started diving into Elvis Presley's family story, I was pretty surprised. And so I wanted to dive into his fascinating identity and answer the question: Was Elvis Presley a Melungeon? Let me know what you think before we start. And at the end of the video, we'll see if he was a Melungeon. So Elvis's story in part, actually begins in a quaint little German town in 1669. It's here that the founder of the Presley family was born. His name was Johannes Bressler. Uh, he and his wife embarked on a monumental journey crossing the Atlantic to New York in 1710. And this is, remember, the era when people's names became uh, anglicized, whether by choice or by necessity. So eventually, Bressler became Pressler, and then Presley, and then, you know, you have Elvis Presley. And so this is Elvis's paternal lines, his dad's side. But what about his mom's side? So Elvis Presley's parents uh, were Gladys and Vernon Presley. His mom's side of the family is where the claims of Cherokee ancestry come from. And I think where people would point to to say that there's a Melungeon ancestry. If, it, if they said that, it would be likely on his mother's side. Here we're going to encounter a woman that uh, is known as Morning White, who was supposedly claimed by the Presleys and many other people to be a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. And in 1818, she married a man named William Mansell, who is a settler in Western Tennessee. This union weaves together a different thread of Elvis's ancestry. Now we're bringing in this Native American ancestry and all the complexities of frontier life. They settled in Marion County, Alabama, near the Mississippi border. Their son, John Mansell, was Elvis's great great grandfather on his mom's side. But was Elvis Melungeon? So this question di dives into another layer of America's hidden identities. So Melungeons are sometimes mixed European, African, and Native American, uh, primarily found in the Appalachian region of the United States. I've done some videos on the Melungeon uh, groups and the Redbone groups, and I plan on doing more. We've really just kind of you know, touched on that. And if you're interested in those, I'll leave a link to the playlists for those below. But if you can imagine the diverse Appalachian landscape, and I am learning to not say Appalachian, it's Appalachian, uh, which is home to the Melungeons. And this group is this, this incredible uh, isolated group that has a mix of European, African, Native American, Middle Eastern ancestry. Now, there is an author named Al Hunter, and he suggested a connection from Elvis to this group. But what he said was that Elvis's connection to this group was actually through his, his Cherokee ancestor. And Hunter stated that, quote, Elvis Presley was a Melungeon who did indeed have Amer American blood. I think he's like shorthanding American Indian, Cherokee to be exact. This discovery places Elvis in a narrative, I think, that is uh, pretty American. A lot of Americans have the story of uh, having a Cherokee great-grandmother or something similar to that. So there was something that did come up when I was researching Elvis, though. And it was that he has a link to another president whose roots are a little bit disputed as well. And that's Abraham Lincoln. Both are descended, supposedly, from a man named Isaiah Harrison, who was an English settler. And some people argue that Abraham Lincoln is also Melungeon. I did a video talking about or asking the question, was Abraham Lincoln black? Because again, his heritage, um, people have disputed uh, the veracity of some of the things that we've been told. 
you're, there's like this kind of interesting thing that starts getting set up here where, you know, we have these two larger than life American figures, right? We have Abraham Lincoln and we have Elvis Presley and they're both, both of their identities are kind of shadowy and they're both connected to the same great, great grandfather. So it's, it's super interesting. One of the reasons why people have said Elvis Presley uh, might be Melungeon is they're looking at him and saying, well, his physical traits kind of line up with it. So he had dark hair and dark eyes. Um, there was a speculation that he had African ancestry. There was, there was a couple things about his looks that you probably don't know, and they kind of surprised me, but we'll get to that. We're gonna come back to that. Another reason people think that maybe he had Melungeon ancestry was because his music had this like really unique cultural fusion. Um, there, people said you know his music had a blend of like African American country gospel styles. And Hunter said, quote, Presley's early music was routinely de denounced for its jungle rhythm and African beats. And so he was saying this suggests maybe a unconscious connection to his diverse roots, maybe music he heard growing up, things like that. When people started doing research uh, recently into Elvis's ancestry, an ethnicity that was pretty shocking showed up. And it was his Jewish roots. Elvis's Jewish lineage can be traced to a woman named Nancy Burdine Tackett, who was a Jewish immigrant from Lithuania. This matrilineal descent uh, in the Jewish faith would mean that Elvis would be considered Jewish because his mother's line was Jewish. Let's touch back on Elvis's great-great-great-grandmother, Morning Dove. His great-great-great-grandmother, so that's three greats, Morning Dove White, was uh, supposedly a Cherokee Indian from Tennessee. And this represented a direct link of his to his Cherokee ancestry, which is often a common thread in Melungeon ancestry. So the legend is that his great, great, great grandmother, Morning Dove, and her white husband, William Mansell, moved to the Alabama frontier. They became landowners and kind of important part members of the community. Uh, genealogists started researching Morning Dove's story uh, he says things didn't really add up. One was that Morning Dove is an English name, so this wouldn't have been this woman's given name necessarily. And so there was this doubt that she was Cherokee. And more importantly, this genealogist noted, uh, Mansell's mother's first name was actually Morning, and White was the last name of some neighbors nearby. So there's kind of these questions about this woman's name. Maybe she existed, but this wasn't really her name. Morning Dove might have been a refugee from one of the Creek Indian villages that were being destroyed in Alabama. Now, Elvis was born in Mississippi in 1935, uh, which is, is not really in a traditionally Melungeon area. Um, and I told you we would get back to Elvis's looks. Well, there were two things that I found. One uh, was easy to prove was that he dyed his hair. His hair is actually kind of a lighter brownish blonde and he dyed it black. And I think especially in the time of like black and white television, uh, that really made his features stand out. And I, you know, who knows why he did it, but he dyed his hair. But there has been speculation that he actually had a nose job to narrow the bridge of his nose. And there was a book that came out like 15 years ago. I think it was from one of his bodyguards said that Elvis Presley ended up getting a nose job, um, but that has never been proven. But if you look at pictures, I think some pictures, like I can kind of see it, but you know, who's to know for sure. But this idea that you can just look at Elvis and say, oh yeah, he has all the traits of being Melungeon. Well, it's like he's dying his hair for one. Um, he may have had surgery on his face. And, you know, so, and the other thing is that Elvis never claimed to be Melungeon and no one in the family seems to have claimed to be Melungeon. Um, but that doesn't mean he wasn't Melungeon, right? So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you think Elvis Presley was a Melungeon? Do you think, is this a reasonable, I, I don't know what people in the Melungeon community think if they would consider him Melungeon. But there's no direct evidence linking Elvis to the Melungeon group. Nothing definitive. Um, you know, the, the only thing that was known for sure about his mom's side was that, you know, she had these Jewish roots from Lithuania. And she talked about being part Cherokee through this other side of her family. 
So at the end of the day, we don't really know if Elvis was a Melungeon. And I think uh, what I like about Elvis's story, though, while I was researching it, is that his roots are such a mirror to a, most Americans' own complex identity. We have a blend of stories and cultures and histories that come together in really unexpected and fascinating and beautiful ways. And I think his ancestry is a reminder um, of what really makes up the American narrative. And it's this this blending of people that seem like they don't go together, but they do. And it's beautiful. And I uh, really enjoyed researching this. So let me know what you think. Did you Have you heard about Elvis being a Melungeon? And did you know that he dyed his hair black? That broke my heart a little bit. Uh, but let me know what you think. And if you are interested in staying connected with me, uh, I'd love to stay connected with you. I'm a little concerned about getting you platformed on YouTube. Uh, uh, I've been running into some issues with some of my videos getting flagged. So I have a link for an email list so we can stay connected. I'm going to try to send out an email like once a week, maybe on Saturday. And uh, just to kind of stay connected. And um, also, I just started a Twitter account. It's at, at I'm Finding Lola. And thank you so much to all of you who have been supporting me on Patreon, sending me coffee and sending me um, just all of these generous things it, it, in the notes. It has, it has meant everything to me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And we'll talk soon.